Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 of my commentary. Now this, in this little bit I'm going to just be talking about FIFA 13 expectations and just uh, anything that really generally comes to my head because I don't think I'll be able to fill up maybe 7 minutes worth of FIFA expectations but I get a nice wee just break away of Cristiano Ronaldo, ignore the tramp goal and just slot it into the top corner. But anyway, for FIFA 13 I'm really looking at different mini games that are going to be played. Now I've just been... I've just been looking at the wee mini games you get, you get the shooting practices, you get passing practices, you also get a bit of like uh, football tennis going on at the beginning of the games which I saw in Airjapes uh, video against KSI about FIFA 13 and it looks pretty good, I have to say I'm really really excited but there's a few things I just want to hopefully get out of the way now I just really really want pace to be not as much as a factor in uh, FIFA 13 which it, there's been, it's been said that there isn't, but you never know. Like sometimes they can just say, "Oh, we've removed like most players are not going to be as fast as they used to be," and then uh, ne the next game you never know a bong horror will still be racing past your defenders. But hopefully, like I just really don't want to have to uh, do what I do, do in this game and get really really fast defenders just to try and like counter the Darren Benz, the Daniel Sturridge's. I, I'd accept it if it was like players like Messi, because Messi is actually like fast and sprints away from defenders and can just like take on a full team. And the same can be said about Cristiano Ronaldo, but I just really don't want it to be that much of a a big factor. It shouldn't be, although it is quite important, but it shouldn't be as big a factor as it already is. And I really hope that the collision engine is fixed because I've had so many chances squandered by just like stupid uh, player collision where like I've got Falcon on the ball and then he's like collided with the defender and I've not got a free kick but the ball is just like it's deemed it as my fault when I was running the defender just run straight into me. And that's what I really hope. I also hope that the referees get majorly improved. Now I have been told by a few people that in the uh, testing just now, the referees have been improved like quite a bit, and there's like not that many like stupid decisions or like straight yellows or straight reds and all that, and it's just quite overall good. Now I try and do a little rainbow flick over a uh, pair check here, and I almost get to just hitch off his head, which I was a wee bit disappointed at because I thought I was going to get a nice wee goal there and just a nice wee finish. As you see, that was brilliant defending. <laughs> but I'm kidding by the way, but that was just, I was still like, just, and my head was in the clouds when I was doing that. <clears throat> but, for FIFA 13, I really hope Ultimate Team has a wee bit to boost, like the servers and stuff, because I get disconnected from servers, like, quite a bit. Not as much as you see people like KSI get disconnected or Nepenthes, but uh, when it comes to me, I always get disconnected like one in every 10 games and it's just getting annoying because you build up your DNF modifier you're even like if you're as bad a player as me you sometimes suffer like 6-0 losses and you just stay out to the end just to improve your DNF modifier then uh, a second like EA just disconnects you from the servers when you're almost on a game and then you just almost feel like dying it's just terrible but I really just hope that in FIFA 30 Ultimate Team has just been improved like overall because sometimes when you look at it, it can be really, really good at one point, but sometimes it can be a wee bit, a wee bit sketchy because just different things that could happen. And uh, I'm just going to take this little opportunity, just because I've you know, run out of things to say about FIFA 13, just talk about the team a wee bit. Now, the three players that really stand out, well, the four players that really stand out in this team are, well, I'll go through one by one. We've got the international man of the match, Sergio Ramos, at the back. Now, I think he is a brilliant defender, but sometimes he feels like he's caught out of position quite a bit. I don't know, maybe if it's because he used to be a right back, that he still hovers away out to the right, but he just isn't as central as he normally is, and I'm getting a wee bit, there's a wee bit of lag in the game at this point. I think it was a wee bit of Xbox lag, or just EA, EA servers just acting up, but the servers were acting all stupid, and I was just trying to... Go, but it goes away eventually. I think, yeah, about now it starts going away. So, Sergio Ramos is a good player. He's got brilliant pace and means he can track back and he's got 99 strength, I'm pretty sure. So, he can muscle off good players like Ibrahimovic, who, even though they're not the fastest, can really like push their way through a defense just to their strength. He's also got, like, I think it's 94 defending and 95 heading. 
which I think is brilliant for centre back. I think that's better than Vincent Company stats and I had his team of the year version of my oh I had a team of the year Man City squad. But I never uh, got my HDPVR in time and I never man and it, when I got it it wasn't working so I eventually I just gave up and just wanted to move on and sell my squad. Just for a wee bit of coins, just so I could build like a team, so I just built different teams with it. And for like mostly I just thought like Sergio Ramos is a, is a brilliant defender. And now the other player was given to me by Jack, and it's uh, the international man of the match, Xabi Alonso. Now, I haven't played that many games, I haven't played about three or four, but I like what I see already. He seems a wee bit faster and a wee bit stronger than his normal card. His passing, you, won't, you don't really notice much of a difference, but if he's shooting, it's a wee bit, like, I wouldn't say it's very, very good, but it's a lot more on target than his old shooting his card. And I just like how he's, he's like a boss in midfield. He, like, commands it, I think, which I quite like that. And the third player that really catches your eye in this team is probably Cristiano Ronaldo at left wing. Now, I'm not going to bother doing this like, massive player review on Cristiano Ronaldo because everyone's probably, well, quite a lot of people have probably had him in all the team and they've just saw like how good he is and just how much of an important player he is in a league of BBA squad. David Villa can do just as good, but not as good as Cristiano Ronaldo, just because he's got that 5 star skill, he's got acceleration, he's got brilliant shooting and he's got brilliant dribbling, it just really like puts him ahead of any other left wing you can think of. And the man that this team is based around, uh, Team of the Season Falcao, now I cannot stress this enough, this player is absolutely amazing. See how he played against Chelsea in the Super Cup, that's how he actually plays in this. He's just that good, he's brilliant at holding off defenders, he can push his way in. He's just got amazing, he's got quite good pace for a guy of like, with his stats, I mean 87 pace for a player who's mainly a bulk forward, which a bulk forward is usually just a player that's quite strong and just isn't as fast but quite good at shooting. And as you can see the game has ended right now and I'd very urge you to try out that team in Season Falcao, so it's been Rusty XD and I'll upload another video later on.